Hello and welcome back to my channel. I attempted to update my Opel software for an entire day using three different flash drives via Windows PC, but I kept encountering a system error. To spare you from facing the same challenges and for the Stellantis authorities to recognize the difficulties they subject us to, I have decided to create this video. By watching my video, you can update your system step by step on your own. Since the applications of all four brands have a similar interface, I will be explaining the steps using my own electric Corsa vehicle. Firstly, you need to download and install the software update program that is compatible with your vehicle's brand from the provided link. I personally downloaded it through the my Opel mobile application. However, for those who may have trouble finding it, I've included the links in the video description. When you enter the vehicles and vehicle touchscreen section in apps like my Peugeot and my Citroen, they send you the download link via email. After completing the installation process, depending on your vehicle's brand, you'll run the Citroen update, Opel update or Peugeot update application. If there's an update available, you'll proceed to update the application to its latest version. We first click on the begin option at the bottom right. From the page that appears, we then click on the plus add option at the bottom left. In the your vehicle identification number section, we input the 17 character chassis number of our vehicle. In the name of your vehicle section, you can also enter the model of your car. This helps those with multiple vehicles to easily locate their specific car within the application. Once both fields are filled, we click on the confirm checkbox at the bottom right to add our vehicle to the application. If your vehicle does not support updates through this application, you will receive a warning message as shown below. We are presented with the available updates for the vehicle. We select the update we want to download and click on the download option to proceed. The update labeled software of the touch screen is meant for the multimedia touch screen of your vehicle. The update labeled cartography is intended for the navigation map of your vehicle. We choose the location on our computer where we want to download the update file and click on the continue option to initiate the download. Once the update file has been downloaded, the application will prompt you to insert a USB drive with a minimum of 16 GB of storage into your computer. Please be aware that the data on the USB drive you use for the update will be erased. Therefore, I recommend backing up any information it contains before proceeding with the update. After downloading the file, we will proceed with the remaining steps manually because, at this stage, the update application provided by your vehicle may encounter an USB stick error. You need to format your flash drive in FAT32 format. However, if you're using a flash drive with a capacity larger than 32GB, Windows won't perform this formatting process. If you have a 32GB flash drive, go ahead and format it using Windows. However, if you're using a flash drive larger than 32GB, you can download the free AOME iPartition Assistant program for formatting. The link is provided in the video description. Once you're in the AOMEI application, right-click on the flash drive, choose Format Partition from the menu, select FAT32, then click Apply in the top left corner. The formatting process will then be completed. Next, locate the two downloaded files. Extract the compressed file. Now, let's create a folder named license on our flash drive and move or copy the license file into this folder. Then, take the PSRCC firmware file, which we extracted earlier, and move it directly onto the flash drive without creating a separate folder, or you can simply copy it. After this step, our work with the flash drive and computer is done. We can now remove the flash drive and insert it into our car. After inserting the flash drive into the USB port in our car, we press the navigation button next to the screen to initiate the update process. Important notes, to install the update, your car's engine must be running. The update process may take between 20 to 120 minutes, depending on the specific update being installed so ensure your car has enough fuel for this duration. While it is recommended not to drive during the update process, it is possible to do so. It is advised not to use the seat heating feature during the update process. It is not recommended to interrupt the update process halfway. 
Therefore, do not remove the USB drive from the car or turn off the engine before the update is completed. It is recommended to set the in-car climate control before starting the update. Climate control adjustments that can only be made via the screen will not be available during the update. Due to the update, park assist features will be disabled. If the car needs to be driven, be cautious when making maneuvers. When you plug the USB drive into your car, a screen will appear indicating that the update will require at least one restart. The number of restarts depends on the software version. In the screens that appear, you can initiate the update process by clicking on the Yes option. After inserting the USB drive into your car, proceed by clicking Yes on the screen that appears below. If you're also updating the navigation, after selecting the Map Your option on the screen, click on Install. At this stage, you can select only the countries you need. Choosing fewer countries will shorten the update time. After making your country selections, click OK to continue. Once the map update is complete, you will receive a message indicating that the update has been installed and the system requires a restart. Click Yes to restart the system. You can now remove the USB drive from the car. If the USB drive is still connected after the update is completed, you may receive a warning screen. You can safely remove the USB drive without paying attention to this screen. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment if you need further assistance.